This morning on today's checklist, we're doing a gut check, literally. Everything you need to know about keeping your digestive system healthy. Mm. Dr. Roshini Raj is a gastroenterologist and author of Gut Renovation, Unlock the Age-Defying Power of the Microbiome to Remodel Your Health from the Inside Out. Dr. Raj, good morning. Good morning, Julie. So, I mean, gut health is something we really overlook, I think, you know, as we just eat food all day long, but why is gut health so important, the microbiome in your system? Exactly. So we've been hearing so much about gut health these days, and what people are referring to really is the microbiome, this teeming community of bacteria and other organisms that reside in your gut and affect not only your digestion, but your overall health. So it's mm -hmm. extremely important to make sure your gut is functioning optimally. Is it all natural, or are there ways to, you know, make sure you have the right stuff in there? Well, there are definitely natural ways to get more of the good stuff in there, mm -hmm. but there are other supplements and things you can take as well. Well, you just want to be make sure you're paying attention to your gut. If you're eating, you know, pay attention to how you feel. Do you experience mm. symptoms after eating? And uh, on the other way out as well, make okay. sure you're taking a look at everything. And so it's sure all connected. All connected. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Right. So, Dr. Trash, what happens if if your gut and your microbiome are imbalanced, so to speak? Right. So, of course, you're going to you know experience some things like gas and bloating, and perhaps abdominal pain, bowel irregularity. But what's really interesting is a gut imbalance can affect so many other parts of your body. You might notice differences in your mood sure. or concentration. Mm -hmm. Your immunity 100% can be affected. There's a very clear connection between the immune system and the gut. Even things like weight gain and metabolism can be affected. And sleep, you know, um, all of these things can be affected by an imbalanced gut. What throws your gut off balance? Yeah. Well, first of all, antibiotics are a big killer of good bacteria as well as the bad bacteria you're trying to get rid of. So oh. be very wary about when you take antibiotics. Do you really absolutely need them? And how we're eating, processed foods, which sadly is part of the standard American diet for many people, that can really wreak havoc on your gut as Processed well. foods, Processed always foods. the enemy. Correct. Let's talk about prebiotics and probiotics. I think most folks have heard of probiotics. Yes. Prebiotics, the term itself was new to me. Yes, exactly. So prebiotics, this is whatever will foster the growth of your good probiotics. Okay. So think of it as like sort of fertilizer for your good bacteria. <laughs> and then the probiotics, of course, are the, are the actual good bacteria. We have some examples here of foods that contain prebiotics. Prebiotics. So these are foods with prebiotics. Exactly. Okay. Berries, asparagus, bananas, artichokes, you know, these are all great things. Garlic that are serve as prebiotics oh. to foster the growth of probiotics in your gut. These are actually fermented foods that contain probiotics, contain good, healthy bacteria. So sauerkraut, kimchi, and of course, most people know about yogurt. Mm -hmm. Make sure, though, that the yogurt says it contains active live cultures or probiotics. And why are these probiotics so essential again? Because these are the probiotics, the good bacteria that foster a healthy microbiome. And this mm. affects your digestion, but it affects every aspect of your health, your mood, your development of many chronic diseases, how you gain weight, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, you know, all these different sort of inflammatory conditions we now know are linked to the gut. And let's talk about when you should kind of think is something else wrong, stomach aches, that type of thing. When's the yeah. time to see a doctor? So we all can, you know, eat something a little off and experience a little yeah. pain or a little bowel irregularity. But if this, these symptoms are lasting more than several hours, even if you took a little over-the-counter medicine, it didn't help. Mm -hmm. If the pain is very severe, we always ask patients to rate the pain 1 to 10. If it's 7 or higher and it's lasting, that could be a reason to see a doctor about something more serious. Of course, if you're having persistent vomiting or diarrhea, that mm. can lead to dehydration, so you want to get medical attention. And any sign of blood is Ooh, a sign you want definitely. to see a doctor ASAP. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Now, the question on everyone's mind. <laughs> Tell us about yes, healthy bowel movements. The holy grail, the healthy <laughs> bowel movement. Okay. So I don't want people to get too hung up on, I have to go like clockwork every single day. One to three days, you know, every one to three days is fine, especially if that's your regular pattern. But you also mm. want to make sure it's not a struggle, a battle in the bathroom. You know, things should just come out smoothly, evenly. You're not sitting there for half an hour. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you want to think about the consistency. Things should not be very hard or rock-like mm -hmm. or painful, but, you know, formed and soft. And then pay attention to the color. I mean, a lot okay. of people don't even look. So my, I guess one tip is just please look and look at what's going on down there. Um, and you want to make sure it's not, you know, anything red or yellow or pale or, Ooh, or green as well. Definitely. Yeah. You guys make all the first time the ones ask <laughs> Got the question. No, well, you know, I, I, you handled it like a broadcast pro. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a, a nice pro. meme. Good well, job. Exactly. And it is very important. Thank you so so much. Thank you. So important. Thank you, Dr. Raj. Good You're to see welcome. you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.